All right, we're golden, chat. <laughs> you got a lot of windows open. It's fine. It's fine. My window's open. I'm all set. I'm all good. Let's move that over there. We're set up for today. I think we are. I think we are, chat. How's all the audio? Because obviously I'm still getting... Just kind of adjusting to... Using these headphones right now. Is all the audio okay? Are we all fine? And dandy? You know? Seems the same as before. Okay. I'll take that as a good thing. I will take that as a good thing. What was I doing here? What did I do with this? Oh yeah, this needs to go into that one, doesn't it? Do I need to... I do. Need to pull this back by one. Uh, Pigbeck, good morning. Grizzly, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Let's just kind of move that over here. Nice. Uh, do we get a stream tile? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't know what to do for the tile today. Insert another satisfactory title here. <laughs> yep. When you don't know what to put. Um, go into the chapel and we're gonna get married. Okay. Right, I need some volunteers because I'm going to need to name, well, four trains. And I've got the wrong attachment on my mouse. So I'm going to do it as, as we normally do it through a random generator. <laughs> <laughs> says be me volunteer for nothing admit nothing and shall survive everything run waves devour is me 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 pick me
Right, so first thing I want to do is rename this to uh, Spire, Spire, Spire Coast. Uh, Spire Coast Oil. That is that, right? We're all set up here, aren't we? Um, this needs to be set to unload, actually. You need to be set to unload. Unload. All right, first name is Pygmy. Uh, hi, Bits. What's the reason with this fluid container? I don't know when I need to use this. Uh, I always do uh, input uh, equals output. So basically what this um, train's doing, uh, sorry, the fluid buffer is going to be just helping, making sure when, the best thing to do is look at the train video I did, right? Because what's going to happen, uh, Dust Eye, is when a train is unloading and loading up in a train station, the output or the input actually blocks and nothing can be done to the input or output within the train station. You can't tell with fluid, but you can tell with items, right? Um, the best thing for me to show you here is it works exactly the way with solid. So kind of let me just leave this running. And I'll go to my YouTube video real quick. Um, let me come down to trains. Oh, I don't have bloody premium. I need to upgrade my premium. Well, I got myself an ad. So I'll show you here. And it, ex it works exactly the same with fluids, right? All right, station efficiency. Here we go. The next thing I want to talk about is train you right now are annoying because options, audio, master. Can I leave that running? Optimization and a lot of people always... All right, here we go. We've set it. The next thing I want to talk about is train optimization. And a lot of people always ask, yeah, but my train's bringing in enough items. It's just that my factory's not receiving them. Do you know what's going wrong, Bits? Yes. I'm like, so this yeah. is the question you're saying, right? Is the input and output. You, you you just basically put it straight to input and output. Yes. More than likely, as you can see, yeah, so. down here, everything is running smoothly. We have 780 items going into the storage, yep. but then 780 items out, which does mean nothing is being stored. And what happens is... So that's exactly what's happening with you right now, all right? So you're not storing anything. Is when a train arrives, like this has done, it has suddenly stopped sending out the items. Yeah. So what that's doing is for the next possible 30 seconds, whilst your train is unloading the next batch of items it's received from, obviously, Green Station, it's not going to send any items out. So how you fix this is you get yourself a line and make sure that both outputs are being utilized on your train station and send that in what's going to happen now is 780 is going into that line 780 is going into that line and 780 is coming out meaning now if we look inside of here 780 items per minute is being stored in the storage so always utilize both outputs into one storage because now we are sending 1560 items per minute does that make sense does that so you want to try and empty this train station as fast as possible. So that's why you put two lines here. Put two lines going into one storage. Never have two lines going in and two lines coming out. Never. Otherwise, when your train arrives at the station, it's going to do exactly what it's about to do again in a second, which will be when it unloads, these two uh, will actually stop. But because we're sending two lines in there and 780 is going into there, 780 is just going out, right? So just use it at the train station. Yeah. So do it at the input side and the output side. Okay. From the train station into the storage, but also outputting 780 to your base. So once you've got that set up, the train will come in. Unload, so the train's coming like in. It normally does. So let's just wait for this train to unload. And so as you can see, there's two lines here, two lines going in, and there's one line going into that one, right? As soon as it happens, then.
So them two. Two lines have now been cut off, mm -hmm. which does mean because we still have a storage, these items are still going. And if you look at these ones, these are not. So that means your factories, our machines, we'll still are get not the items. going to be receiving the items they need. But because we have set up a 1,560 output line here and a 780 going here, it is now fixed. And it's using the storage we have here. So when this train is done, them two will turn back on and life will continue in your factories. Yeah. Also so the way you should think about it as well is if you cut out the middleman and you cut out these lines, this train station, the other train station, it's kind of just like a teleporter of items, right? Going into the storage. So always do two lines going in. Same with your fluid. Obviously, fluid buffers only have one. That's why you need two tanks, right? And then have them combined together. So it works constantly like, like you normally do. So you have two lines going in. You have one line coming out. Never do two lines coming out if you want to keep it efficient. Because when that train comes in and you've only got one line like this, this line, it, it's just going to pass through. There's no point of having these storage containers here if you're just going to have a one line going in, one line going out, right? Because you're just going to, it's just going to bypass straight through the storage. And when the sto thing comes in, because there's nothing in the storage, this line will then empty. And when then it's, where it's going into your factories, it's just going to die, right? So if you have your two lines going in, that means you've got two fast belts. It doesn't matter if you've got 260 lines going in there and you've got 120 going in so 60 and 60 as long as you have a 60 coming out you're fine so make sure whatever is coming out of your output of this storage is always half of what's going in okay so do do that hopefully that helps oh and i'm on my way back Uh, the container has only one output. So that's why, as you noticed, at my plant, I've done two. Two uh, two buffers. Hey, Maeve. Hello. How you doing, man? So I'll show you what I've done with my fluid buffers. And uh, you can see why. As long as the lines connect back up and don't go elsewhere, you'll be fine. Why is the water yellow? I've got a pee somewhere, right? Work is crazy. I wanted to have a holidays 2.5 days ago not happened Miller Thor hello how you doing man boop, 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 boop. Doot, 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 doot. how you doing brother how's things how's things It's a long stretch. It might come down to it where I need six altogether. How long did it take you to lay all this track or did you just boop it in with that? No, no, we laid it. Uh, we did it all in a stream the other day. It basically took two streams to make. Two streams. I would say about eight hours in total to make get this whole bridge done. And uh, We did some before Amsterdam and then we got it completed the day after, after Amsterdam. It's a big old bridge. Took us a good minute, didn't it, chat? Um, so, yeah. So, with the fluid buffers, exactly the same, right? So, as you can see, I've got two lines coming out. One line going into one buffer. Another line coming this way through this wall. And then going into a second buffer, right? So, then that's two... Basically, the same as... But it's just that we've got two storages. And then, these two collide so the output of this storage here 
comes along here and goes into this line. Right? Goes into this line. And then this is going to go into a 600 line. So what's going to happen here? This is a... I could technically put this as a Mark 1 belt. Right? Because 600 is going to come along here. 600 is going to come along here. And it's going to go into there. We don't need that. We can actually make this a 300 and make that a 300 line. But at the end of the day, it's still going to get bottlenecked anyway. And it's still going to be 600 coming out. But we've got 1,200 coming out of the train station. So we need to make sure we're doing that on the input side. I need to figure out what I'm going to do with these as well, because that's going to look a little bit weird, isn't it? Or is it? Hmm. Um, so I need to make sure I've got enough before I head down there, because I need to do two more buffers. Uh, three more buffers. Yeah, I'm fine. Right, let's head to the Golden Coast. Um, set up the buffers down there. So if I'm not mistaken, I've only put one down that side. I need to do the same. Oh, Mr. Maeve, you missed the melon dance earlier. You missed it. I'm more sad now. Mm-hmm. It went a little crazy. Ronan coming with 20 gifted subs. Karami coming with 20 gifted subs. And Panther coming with a bloody staggering 50 gifted subs. Dorf, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Let him do the dancey thing. Mm hmm. Oh, shit. You know what? You can have your names on the board. Karami. 20. Ronin. 20. Uh, it's Farber, isn't it, Farber? 50. There you go. Sub gift a wall. Uh, customs, by the way, 20 days already. I know I'm the same, Maeve. I'm the same. I don't know what's going on at customs. Mine's still down there. All the ones that I was going to take to TwitchCon to hand out. So something's going on at customs. I don't know. Just love the t-shirt and want it for themselves. Custom is overworks. I bet. Attention. Uh, Commander Shall Serenity. Hello. Drones? Welcome. Welcome, welcome.
I need to realize what I'm going to do here with... Uh... Always looking for fellow pioneers. Welcome in. Welcome in. Uh, I think I'm just going to bring in... I might need to do this train track a little different, you know, champ. I might need to bring it in a different line because I need to make this a two buffer setup here, you know. Um, unless I was to do it on the opposite side. Attention, you know. we are being followed. Shall I just um, welcoming drones? Hack range two two two. Welcome. Welcome. Boom, ba -doom. We're going to take it underneath. Uh, still a bit tight. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. God, I'm good. Where's... Okay, that's lining up there. Let's make sure these are right. Have a see that? Yeah, I got over the bloody crazy COVID stuff now. I still tested positive. I tried... I did, did it this morning. So, I'm still testing positive. So... But it's faded. The T is faded. The corona. The corona for you. I'm just going to blow my nose, chat. Hold on. Up chat has the masks on. Um, right, so we're going to do that. We're going to bring in the second line down here. Uh, I'm going to have to go from bottom to top to make sure that this does not clip through the pipe. A little bit of a pain in the butt, yeah, but we're good. Uh, why not use the stack of ones? Uh, I could use the stack of ones, but I kind of liked the uh, the thing it did. Oh, 
You can never fall uh, One, two, three, four. You can never go They have added that in the last update. You are correct. Um, very slow. Wait, what? what? Guess, do you mean I don't care about cleanliness? We have our own ways of doing aesthetics, right? And I enjoyed the way I just did my aesthetic. DJ, hello. I have my way of building. You have your way of building, right? Right? <laughs> Excuse me. this along here oh you little shit Uh, if they fix the fucking floor holes for vibes, no, still the bloody same. And certain things, anyway. Uh, Luna, hello. You like Blood Hunt better than Hood? Yeah, Blood Hunt's good. Blood Hunt's good. I agree. Good game. Good blood deck game.
Making a transformer now. Bloody transformer. How you doing, Luna? How's the things? How's the things? Oh, and you're messed up. Sugar. Sleep schedule is terribly messed up, so I'm always late to the stream. Tut tut tut. Sorry, that's sleep up. <laughs> you have the lumberjack stuck in your head. Which one? Lumberjack song. Lumberjack song. Okay. What's going in? We want to get it from there to there real quick. Okay. To be okay. To be honest, I actually want these as six hundreds. I need to fill quicker. Otherwise, if I leave it at 300s. Oh, no, 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 no. That needs to be. You. Because when this stops, it's going to fill up into these. It means the 300s. Slowly, that's going to fill back up. But I need to empty the storage when it turns back on as quickly as possible. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. So let's need to do them. 
this side. Because <coughs> you're going directly into storage. You're coming along, you're being split off into 300, 300. You're filling at no more rate. I need the storage is to empty as fast as possible. Okay. Sorted. No, I've, I've done it now. Fixed it. The intention is that I just want the storage buffers to empty as, as soon as possible, right? So if nobody knows what I'm doing, just done there. So we have 600 coming along the line, right? Let me just put them to 300. 600 coming down. That's going to get 300. We're going to go into these three buffers. And then 300 is going to go into these two buffers, right? And when the train comes in here to load... It's going to stop all flow of oil in these two pipes to go in there. So what me that means is, is these fluid buffers, so this side and this side, will slowly start to fill up. So when the train departs from the station, I need these buffers to empty as quick as possible into there, which is now use, uh, utilizing the excess it's just been given whilst the train stops. Because when the train stops, all items going in and going out stop, right? So when the train departs, these fluid buffers will go, okay, let's utilize all capacity of the 600 lines and send it straight in there as quick as possible and empty these buffers. As these should always be empty. But the only time these will start filling is when a train is arriving in the station and unloading and loading. And then as soon as it departs, it'll empty these straight as fast as possible into the station for the next train. Make sure everything flows in the right uh, direction. Uh, everything will flow in the right direction. Everything will flow in the right direction. Because that's why I've limited the lines. If I would have left these as 600 lines here, uh, it will be fine. But because I've got 600 coming along, this is going to cap out at 300. So that's technically a valve right here, right? That's going to cap out at 300 right there. Uh, and then these are going to cap out at 300 because that's the limit of the pipe, which does mean that everything's going to get pushed here and pushed up there and everything will get sent to them ones. Uh, so we don't really need valves. Um, but uh, now fluid can move from buffer to buffer. No. So 300 is still going to come along here. Three, No matter what, three, this this right here, 600 is coming along and it's, it's like... Two lanes of traffic going into one lane of traffic. It's going to filter and it's going to back up, right? Right? So that's going to... It, it will work. I will, we'll, we'll science it when it all comes through. And this section of Discord. No worries, Grizzly. Um, so now that we've got the fluids going into there, so that's 300 going into there. Then the 300 going into this side. When the train comes in, these will start filling up by 300 per minute. Uh, for 300 seconds uh, 300 seconds 30 seconds um so what we're going to do now is we're gonna uh, empty all of these hello do you want to mass delete please thank you jesus take your time why don't you get rid of all of these let's back up this train Uh, this is the uh, this is the output. So, sorry, the input. This is the input side. The output side works exactly the same. Because what we want to be seeing is a constant flow of oil going in to the station and going out. So I don't care if this station is full of oil. Right? If this station's full of oil, I don't care. As long as the output side is where you need to hyper-focus on. If the output side has is constantly sending oil out at 600 per minute, that's fine. That's all we need. Right? That is all we need.
All right, so let's do this first test train here. Uh, edit timetable. So we want it to have a golden cost and then to spy cost. Uh, save changes. Turn on self driving. Okay. So these storages should already be full here because of the oil's already been covered in. And then we need to time a lap of this train to determine how many trains are actually going to need. Look how uh, station unreachable. Did I put the station on the wrong side? I guess we're going to take it over. Why not? Oh, I deleted the line, didn't I? Fuck. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. I removed that line whilst I was doing the pipes, wasn't I? Lol. <laughs> that is terrifying, Mav. It's terrifying. Not the laugh, the actual gif itself. You know. I still want to play satisfaction, but I had a look at uh, the changes at experimental and the amount of work needed to fix my base and there and just can't. Did you not set it all up before, um, Wool? Before update six dropped? What did you do? Did you use the satisfactory calculator? Hopefully that helps, you know. So it is now inside. Ah, okay. Yeah, so if you use your satisfactory calculator, you can copy and paste it out of the rock if you wanted to. Miss Vadams. Hello, you beautiful human. How are you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. All right, train, come on. Choo choo. Choo choo. Choo choo. Right, so what we're going to do now is we do need to set some signals up. So I'm just going to leave this train to do its thing. But what we need to do is we need to time its lap. Okay. So let's just go to uh, timer. Uh, stopwatch. What the hell is this? Google stop. Does Google have a top stopwatch?
Just keep going with timing. Oh, watch. The fuck? I was doing my phone. <laughs> fuck me! Jesus. Right, I've started a stopwatch. Jesus. Grizzly. Bloody hell, dude. You scared the pants off me. Sorry, not sorry. It's a lot louder now because I'm using these in-ears compared to the normal headphones I use. So it's a lot louder to me. It's spoopy. So I'm just timing right now is how long this train's going to do a full lap. Right now. <laughs> How has your morning been so far, Miss Adams? How has your morning been so far? We're already new enough at a minute. Look. We're new enough at a minute. Well. GPU price is dropping nicely. Yeah, I saw that the other day. They want to get rid of the stock before the 40 series are released. Some uh, some rather insane specs on the 40. I know it's tempting, but it's like, do we need it right now? I've uh, been doing chores and admin today. First day I've had the chance to catch up out there. TwitchCon. TwitchCon was insane. I love TwitchCon. It was in. There was just a lot going on at TwitchCon. Uh, feeling better? Yeah, I'm feeling. I've been feeling good since I've been streaming since Monday. Uh, still got the cough and stuff. Um. But at the end of the day, it's just a cold and flu I've got now. It feels like. So I'm fine with it. The worst part was the, the whole scratchy, forced cough. You know, when your body's like, okay, cough. But it's like, no, I don't want to. Uh, I just want a 30 days. The only reason to get rid of the 4089 now will be mine crypto. Yeah, true. Make some time to ease up. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. It was, a, it was a painful one. The worst thing about it over the, the uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday was just the matter of um, just getting out of breath way too easy. Like simple tasks going from the bedroom to the kitchen and that it was just really weird. Dark, uh, dark. how you doing, man? Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Uh, you set up for more RAM. Guys, we're about to hit. We're on two minutes forty right now to hit this train station. So hitting this train station talk. Three minutes seven. take about six seven minutes uh see the throughput per minute yeah but it's it's not the throughput per minute i'm looking at doing you know like you you can look at the throughput per minute to see what it, what's going to be outputting but what i'm trying to figure out is the optimal amount of trains i need to go through this because I've gone, I've tried to work it through the throughput before, and it just, it, for some reason, the game just like, no, this is what you need. It's weird. And to be honest, I don't really trust the numbers in game. <laughs> <coughs> Especially when it comes to liquids, you know.
three would do the job. That's why we're aiming at uh, a maximum of four. Yeah, liquid numbers are in. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed. Liquid, everything's a bit weird. That's why you gotta do it manually, you know. So as soon as this is done, we'll get the signals down. Um, I don't want the signals too far apart because I need the trains to constantly keep moving. If you put way too, like the, the, the signals way too far apart, uh, the issues you're going to have is if a train's coming along here and another one is just up ahead trying to turn this corner as well, which we shouldn't have that issue if we're going to be bringing in four. Because the way I want it to have is I want two trains to always be going to the oil, two trains to always be going to the station. Uh, and if we can get it set up so where one's loading, one's unloading, and two are traveling to each destination, that's we'll be fine. We need to keep that constant circle going. So that's why if I time it now, uh, and it's three minutes, all I need to do is uh, start the next train when it gets to one minute 30 at this rate. And then it should be fine. And then there should be a one minute 30 gap between each train. Uh, stop. Six minutes thirty-seven. Okay. Wonder if they could add a timetable where trains stop at specific points until one ahead. Yeah, that would that would be really cool to to add. Um, to create like the if there's a train thirty seconds ahead, or a act. Uh, a smart switch right uh so a, a smart switch so basically when a train passes a certain switch the train before can actually go ahead does that make sense i'll be all right team kind of adjust adjust things to you know how much oil will i deliver i'm gonna be delivering uh 1800 uh oil <clears throat> right so let's get some signals uh, we're just going to use block signals. That's all we need. Uh, let's just get about 50 of them. Let's just get some circuit boards real quick. Uh, that way it lies madness and amazing train setups. Yep. All right, my circuit boards are over here. Don't need that many. 1,000 what? Don't understand the rest. <laughs> 1,800. So the way liquid is measured in this is cubic meters. That's die. It's cubic meters. So 1,800 cubic meters of liquid per minute. Oh, auto save right there. Whew. That could have truly effed me over, you know. Um, okay, so we're going to want a block signal here. One there. And we're going to want one here. So we've got a red line and an orange line. And then we're going to create a block. Mm. 
there. That's now gone to yellow. Let's do one on this side. Green, yellow, orange, red. We're not going to do any on the turns. Do one here. Uh, good morning, Skelly. Good morning, good morning. Uh, let's get another one before this turn. God damn it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it on the turns just because... Um... Especially when you do your train setups this way. Sometimes if I was to put a signal, uh, these trains might automatically start becoming one single block. Uh, continued No Man's Sky, really good game. My only pet peeve is that the UI is really made for controller. Playing on keyboard is a bit clunky to navigate the menus and stuff. Uh, a little bit more polishing here would have been great. Other than that, great game. It is a really good game, Dark Ops. Uh, you you kind of get used to it, to be honest. Uh, and what you'll find out is you'll start using E and Q to actually go through the menus a lot easier. Alright, so we're going to need a few signals on this. Because what I don't want is a train to come through this line get all the way over to that corner but another train stops there that's one thing we don't want so going down this line we're going to put a few stops just so that breaks up you're on the wrong side We'll do one every third snapping point. Um, but yeah, keep keep at it, Dark Orbs. You'll you'll uh, really enjoy it, uh, and it's only going to get more addictive as well. Are you playing on normal or survival? Wait, let's get this before they turn. Um, I love No Man's Sky. Trouble is, once you're done everything, uh, all that's left is building for the sake of building. That's why I play on survival, Grizzly. In all honesty. <clears throat> because when you're playing on normal, on No Man's Sky, you have crazy stack sizes. Right? And because you have crazy stack sizes, you can get the game done a lot quicker. Right? You can transport items a lot quicker. When you when you're carrying when you're in a, a fighter ship, right? The stack sizes you, that you can carry in a fighter ship are bloody astronomical, right? Um, but if you play on like survival side, you've got a lot more grinding to do, and it does take a lot more time, unless you start going into the mining aspects. And you was one of them players that did the whole mining tricks way back in the day, if you remember. Because there was a time where you can set loads of mining stuff down 
and you can just mine the crap out of things and using some of the game's exploits to actually get a lot of cash, right? Two hundred billion on survival. See, that seems a little crazy. Time for a permadeath mod. Get on permadeath, my dude. What is that color? Like baby poop. <coughs> like baby poop. Once you pass the first couple of hours, either perma on survival. Yeah, it's all the same, really. That is the color of baby poop. Yep. Exactly. Baby poop. I love the sound of what these make, you know. Bing. <laughs> Broccoli baby poop. There it is again. Be gone. Uh, I played No Man's Sky a lot when it came out uh, and then stops for a few years. Now my base is messed up and the new stuff is kind of overwhelming. So, um, I was the same when I got back into No Man's Sky because I, I was one of the players that played it right from the beginning. Uh, I was one of the founding members founding members of No Man's Sky. The pre-order the pre-order pre family, you know. Um, and you can only be part of that family if you can if you, you get your bonus vehicle right at the beginning, right? bonus uh jet um oh and uh yeah like coming back to it because i come back to it um i would say beyond but it'll probably be after beyond i would say So beyond, beyond, yeah, beyond, 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 beyond. Beyond, beyond. Uh, can I build a train right now? I can't. <sighs> oh, let me make sure the yoyo is running here now as well. Excuse me.
Okay, so I'll be on my way now. You just give me a call. Oh, you're going to know that's wrong. Uh, did I put pumps over here, right? I did. Perfect. Need some fuel. Oh, I've run out of fuel for my jetpack. climbing just filling these pipes as well here I also didn't know that they added base building one of the first ups even though before launch they said there will will be no base building but they didn't add uh add those play and other stuff always for a while beyond changed the game beyond for sure changed the game Uh, Demius, good morning. Good morning, good morning. How you doing, man? Evie, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Just seen that you're here as well. Good morning, good morning. Here comes the other lines. Barely awake. Getting ready for the day, my dude. <laughs> Filling at 300 per minute. Filling at 301 per minute. Perfect. Do you need a pump? Do you need a pump? I think you need a pump, don't you? By the looks of that, yeah, you're just about about ten meters. About ten meters. Where's gonna be the best place for me to put you? Do, 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 do. 
I'm only using these ones because I don't have rotors to make more ones. Damn it. I'm trying to use my jetpack on another field. Tina, hello. How you doing, man? Are you happy with the base game satisfaction? Did you ever look at mods that expand the game so much? Yes. So I'm not going to do any modded playthroughs just because with the amount of updates that come out every six months-ish, um, there's no point in me doing a modded playthrough to only get to not be able to play with a lot of them mods or not be able to load up that save due to certain mods not loading, which could be core mods, for example, like power ones um, and all that kind of stuff. So there's no point in me really using the, the them mods because they might not get updated. So I think the best thing to do uh, for me, which is what I'm going to do, is wait until 1.0 gets released and then play with a modded playthrough. So when 1.0 comes out, I'm going to do a normal playthrough like normal, playing the full base game. And then I'm going to go over to... Uh, mods after I've done my first full playthrough with the whole story more than everything, you know. Um, ha! Hello. It's game now. What's up, man? I mod one with my friends right now because uh, of what he did in Raft. Are you? Got you. Very sound reason. Yeah. How's things, Tita? How's things, my dude? Okay, we've got movement here now, so obviously the pumps worked. Now we're still at a fit rate, fill rate of 899 per minute. It's obviously more than way more than enough because obviously that's an incorrect number right there right we know that we know that we know that so that's now full you're obviously going to start filling that up now <clears throat> okay let's start getting these trains over here so whilst these are filling let's go and get some supplies and get some trains built I uh, love the final chapter. Uh, I can't I can't play Raft. I can't create content on Raft unless it was for YouTube. I can't really stream it. I could do, but for me, it's a little too slow for stream. Saying that, though, look, I'm running up across this now. It's going to take me about 10 minutes to run across this whole bridge. Just setting up some pure ore facilities like 10 hours plus. <laughs> yeah. I think for me, though, the, my only problem with creating Raft for stream... He's just stuck in a little raft, tiny little thing right at the beginning. And it's a very, very, very slow start. Um, yeah, I use the fly mod. Yeah, yeah. I only use it only for screenshots, though, whilst I'm streaming. Because I could easily fly over there right now, but I press of a button. Literally press of a button. Literally press one button. Boom. Now I'm flying. You know. Press another button. I can change my speed. Boom. Um, but I do them for like, uh, what's it called? Uh, screenshots and stuff. Yeah, no, we're playing Raft in multiplayer session and after a multiple thing, the host always continues to play without us. All oh, right, okay. Yeah. yeah, that's why, that's the problem about playing multiplayer, you know? That's the problem about playing multiplayer. I've still got a weird... Okay, we're back to normal now. I did fix it. That's what I'm saying. It did work it a minute ago. Change flight speed to medium. See? And that worked. Oh, I don't want to fly that. Yeah, they must have updated the mob because it's normal is now working. Which is weird. Uh, so it's past 500 hours in game. 500 hours.
yeah so i don't have any plans on what we're going to do today in stream i just know we're just going to do some satisfactory later on we're going to do some more power wash sim um maybe start a um, dyson sphere maybe Bridger, hello hi What are those terrain uh, statues you walk past? Are these? Them like big mushrooms? Oh, big boy mushrooms. Uh, workers and resources. Workers and resources. Uh, workers and resources. Oh, that's the Soviet. Oh, this is something I have actually thought about playing. I saw Sips playing it. Right? I know it's been out for a while. Is it a good game? Google Wi-Fi. Cause we could play that. If you guys want me to play that later on, I'll be down. Obviously this was a three year ago trailer, so things might have changed. Yeah, but a bit rough around the edges. Not much tutorials. Yeah, but that's how we like them though, isn't it? A lot of stuff to manage. Yeah, I saw Sips playing it, so I might give it a shout. Maybe give it a go. Yeah, let's play that later on. We'll play it after some... Um, what's it called? Because today's probably going to be like another 12-hour stream, so... Other materials, food, electricity, water, sewers, and more. Kind of like a city skylines kind of thing. With uh, logistics based in mines. But yeah, today's probably going to be like another 12 hour stream. of august if you like retro ps with uh fashion lots of humor i recommend you look at fashion police squad master banger what <sighs> so is food was there a new update except with uh learning that yeah yeah it's a blow my nose again chat give me a minute Right, so let's get
them and get some fuel. Oh, God damn it. I have no... Rip, 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 rip. Let's get some heavy modular frames and some computers. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So what we're going to do is I'm going to set this train to go off, do its thing. Whilst he's going off, we'll get the other train down. By the time my timer gets to one minute 30. Uh, golden cost to you. Save changes. We'll do all the name changes uh, in a minute. So I'm just going to wait for my timer to get to about one minute 30. Which technically it should be around here. Somewhere. And then we'll set this one off. And then the next train will set off. Once this train here should leave this platform <coughs> once it leaves this station we're at one minute 10 seconds now and is it around the same position where i expected it to be we'll wait a couple more All right, let's get out of this let's get another train set up cost on that so i want to set this train off basically when my timer now gets to three minutes and this train should technically be leaving this leaving this platform that train should be around here and then i'll send off the fourth train when this train gets around here.
and then what we need to do then is assess our train situation our uh, train station uh, and make sure that this station is constantly outputting 600 per minute And there's only one way we can technically do that. So we're just waiting for that train to set off. And I'll turn this one on. Same again. Bada bing, bada bush. This train should arrive at this platform around 6 minutes 27. So it's got about just over 2 minutes, 10 minutes. 2, two minutes, 10 minutes. 2 minutes, 10 seconds. Get okay, from there to there. Can you self-drive? is super, super effective. Oh, it's the waiting game. Welcome back, Maywalk. Welcome back, my dude. Welcome back. Welcome back. Was a ship that put to sea. The name was a ship was a Billy O.T. Email check real quick whilst we're waiting. Nothing. No emails. What? What? Uh, okay. That train's arriving now. What I really need to be doing here is just quickly getting an oh crap, I need some I need some heavy modular frames. So these are going to be the lines that's going to be leaving. <coughs> and I need to see this fill rate at 600 uh, a minute. Oh, no, we... Technically, that number won't be right. 
I need to see the net. Sorry, six hundred a minute. And by the time this train, this next train needs to arrive before this empties. No, well, not before the empties, actually. It's already arriving. So with that coming in there, that's just going to lock that out. Boom, 137 left in. The flow of that's been stopped, which means these buffers should now still be sending stuff out. Still sending out. Still sending out. And it means you're still sending 600. Into that line. Then you're back up. Then shifting. And you are draining at 1,200 per minute because we've got two lines. By the time this starts to drain, the other train should be arriving. Which is, it is on its way. At this rate, the might, we might need one more train in because this gap. No, this gap here. Because this is going to be around here. This guy is going to be at this station. So there might be need another train to go into here. Uh, we don't need valves on the flu buffers. They don't consider a direction, uh, do they? No. We don't need a direction. The 1,200 drain rate, at least. You're filling as expected. We want it to be coming straight out of there as fast as possible. And this should be filling. And then they should be both be merging, going into 600 lines. Yes. Here comes the next train. That's already emptied, so we do need a second train coming in. Another train. To shorten that gap a little bit. Even though the buffers are going to be full. Actually, it might be alright. Might be alright. I think it will be alright. Mm -mm. Yeah, I think we've got enough buffers. So, I think we, sh I think we should be fine. The next train's about to come in. It's this gap here. This is the biggest gap right there. That one. Because that is near enough like a three to four minute spread for him to get to there. Uh, more trains he goes back to the room. Mm -hmm. But adding one train, even when, when, when the tr this train arrives, we could add one more train just to fill this gap here. Even that gaps. Um, wait, so we've got our train arriving at the station. Train arriving at the station. What I need to do is bring this forward here. I need to remove that line, that line, that line. 
Yeah, that's there. Remove that. Connect that to that. Connect you to here. to there grab myself a valve well oh, I need rubber yeah I'm gonna be flushing them all anyway before I reset you know uh, so let's get it if I got rubber here in the storage I don't think I'd do I know it's all, all only no actually I've got some there 150 And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a valve uh, on each of these here. So we can make sure that these aren't going to try and fight each other. Because they will do. Um, valve. Uh, so we're just going to put a valve there. Over there. And that is just to stop any backflow. And it all gets pushed that way then. Louise, good morning. Return to the satisfactory indeed. Ugh. Indeed, indeed. Let's flush the full network. That does mean these buffers as well. They're no empty. Why is my crouch not jumping there? Crouch? There we go. Uh, okay, I'm going to try and get uh, half an hour's sleep. Really? Uh, how did you get two slots? This, these slots are all from update six, Master of Hoz. Update six on experimental. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, that's an issue. That train's arriving here. Oh, no, this one's on its way. Never mind. I was going to say. I thought it was that one. That was going to be the next one. I was like, huh? Ah. But as anticipated and calculated, four, four trains is enough, you know. 
or Trenzy is fine. I think we might be fine here, chap. That's not fine. Why are you not moving? filling each other this one's filling that other one No, that this pipe wasn't moving at all. But what was happening is this, this buffer was sending items to this buffer <laughs> instead of that buffer sending it to that one. Apparently, yeah. So that that buffer was at the same uh, capacity as that one. And what happened was is that one was like, okay, let's send out items to this one. And it because it was this valve was here. The liquids were coming along here and stopping here. Same with this one. So the floor was being pushed this way. That's why I reset the pipes. We can see that these now are filling at a net of 600 per minute, which is what we're after. Uh, what would happen? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. This one's about to empty. He's perfect. And boom, 38. 38 left and it's already been refilled. It's like perfect timing, chat. You know, it's like it's like we used a stopwatch to predict the train distance. Right? It's like it's like we did that. <laughs> imagine <laughs> but that won't be the case once because this has nowhere to go that buffer has nowhere to go right so once this gets sent to refineries it'll constantly be 600 constantly pu pushing out you know Excuse me. 
We're going to jump on this train. And I'm going to just double check my time here. And I want it by the time... As soon as this train sets off, and by the time it sets off, I'm going to stop again. Is when I'll stop it. And we should be golden. We should be fine. We should be fine. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, timer has started. Moving with some speed. Wish you the best. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Um, one of the few things they didn't implement, I think, is um, is this the way you are here? <laughs> yeah, they've done a good job overall, um, at keeping things consistent. If I didn't put any signals down here along this whole entire line, this train will still be sat at that platform until this train arrived at this station. Yeah. All right. So it's just arrived at this station and it is three minutes, 11 seconds. Now it's going to unload. So that means all the liquid's been popped off. So that's, we're already 10 seconds in. Now we're at 20 seconds in. And now 30 seconds it takes to unload, which is what we knew anyway. Uh, did it take longer than full? No, it's just, just this is the same gazelle. It's just like exactly the same. Thirty seconds, bang on the dot to unload that from that station.
One thing I do need to check is the input side. It's 1,800 just being carried to the next station. It's not like it doesn't matter. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, we were. Even though at first that overclock would consume almost more raw materials, but it's the first case in the next update. We were to remove it, just increasing power in your overclock. We've just hit 5 minutes 30. The train is full. I want that mess up all, all the time. I did set it to a 30. Yeah, so I've, I've set it up to a, so it's full. Um, that's why um best best thing to do is always set it up to be full because if you set it up to be full it means it will stretch the time um to the maximum it'll be um you know six minutes ten. We're still not unloaded yet. But guys, if you're enjoying the stream, obviously we're just kind of working out a lot of stuff. Remember to hit that follow button if you want to see more streams. I do stream every Monday, uh, well, every weekday at 10 a.m. BST. Um, okay, All right, so the train's going to be arriving soon. So it's 6.51. As soon as the train sets off again, that's when I'm going to stop the timer. Come. Seven minutes twelve. That's including unloading and loading, which is which makes sense <clears throat> because we did originally time it at six minute ten, and including the two thirty minute stops, and then obviously my delays of just pressing it. Um, it's seven minutes ten, so that's where the minute come from. Um, oh crap! I should have gone back with the train. I need to go. Chat. Don't look. Don't look. I thought I crashed the game. Don't look, chat. Don't look. Don't look. Twitch Prime sub received. Hogwarts. Generous and clever. Bravo. Dude. Love the stream. Thank you so much, Hogwarts. Appreciate it. Five months, man. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you so much for the support. Absolutely gorgeous out there. Just finished taking Dave for a walk. I'm hoping that's a pet and not a person. <laughs> Just put someone on a leash there, select. It's kind of okay here where I am. Uh, do you think of Minecraft? That's where I started creating content, Dark Orbs. That's where I started creating content when I when I first started. So the yard take it is taking one thousand eight hundred this train. So this train is going to take one thousand eight hundred. Let's see if the next one is. We have to do this four times, unfortunately. So don't king shame. I'm not king shaming. What do you mean? But 100% selects put someone on a leash. <laughs> 60 kg, Jesus. Big boy. And by the time this next train, I want this to be all the 1,800. 
Does liquids not get reset? I'm also running apparently. Ugh. I don't think this. Two thousand four hundred. This should technically, you know, fluids are spooky. Yeah. Oh, it's picking up the whole fucking container. <laughs> it's picking it all up. It's not grabbing the inside of what opens up there. It's taking the whole fucking station with it. The good old train glitch. So this should technically have like 1,000... No, uh, 800 in it. Yeah, fluids are too spooky, I agree. It never used to do this. You see, you don't need fluid buffers. Oh, you'll need one. Okay, so it only happens with solid view, uh, solid items, the conveyor belts. So when the train is picking and lo unloading and loading, the train station is actually still receiving oil, well, liquids. If it's a fluid one, if it's a solid one. Wait a minute, hold on a minute. I could wait a minute. This train's arriving with no fucking ignore me, chat. This train's arriving with fucking canisters on it, which means it's not... Con <laughs> ignore me. It's because I've not done a fluid buff this thing. Fucking ignore me. Fuck me. We'll find this in a second. Let me go and fix this. I'm going to fly over there because I'm going to quickly sort this out. <laughs> it's because I didn't... Uh, this, this oil's not being consumed over here, is it? So I need to reduce it. Just remove it. That's the problem. What the hell, Bitsy? Bloody hell. So this next train should fully unload. <coughs> <coughs> Remind me to empty the bloody buffers, you know. Even you guys forgot. As bad as one another. I only flushed two of three, did I? Did I? I did. I need to set this train back though. Because I need this train. I, I, I could fly over there, but at the end of the day, I've got to wait for this train to arrive anyway, so. 
I think we messed up the timing when the buffer is full and the train won't unload and it waits 15 seconds at a uh, it's yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're carrying that. You're carrying that. <laughs> Even James Bond can't do shit like that. <laughs> it was so expensive me to get hit. My nose, dude. Bloody nose. <laughs> this is all stuffy. You went to do it the right way this time, did you? There we go. So it did take 1,600 out. So as long as this has got 1,600 in by the time the next train comes, which it will do, and it's right there. <coughs> come, come. Come, come.
No trains not uh, emptying completely uh, cause a problem? No. <sighs> Because eventually, oh, 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 I don't want to die. It looks like we're all fine here. Yeah. Here comes the next train. 1,600 in here, please. Gouda! Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <sighs> Come on. It's all over 1,600, which is fine. Keep a common. 37. 27. Which is fine. If these are coming back with that much in, we're, we're, we're fine. You know? If they're coming, if they're coming back, we only like twenty-seven in. That's a fine. Taking the whole station again. <sighs> Chris, hello. for this next train whilst we're doing that i'm going to look at getting a sandwich for dinner today since the illness it is lunch time um I would like a fresh orange, please. Oh, this one's come back empty. That's already full. How are you making energy right now? I'm using uh, coal power uh, right now, Master of Horse, but with with uh, ten fuel gens as well. So at the minute we're making about oh my god, there's a big massive moth. Hello, where'd you come from? Oh, I need to take this train home. Come, come. Psychopath, hello. Okay. I've not even set my time what I normally set. There we go. That's more colourful. Um, do we have cheese? No, let's have tuna today. Let's have tuna. Let's have tuna.
Level up when you get there. Yeah, I need, I need to. Actually, I just, it, it seems to be working now, so I'm not going to keep buffering it, but I'm going to um, start bringing in the other oil I need to bring in. You know? I need to bring in more oil. Resubscription received. Thank you for renewing your class two oh, access. As well. Five months. Five bloody months. Oh. Sorry, I'm just ordering dinner, chat. Make sure I go in here before I get knocked off by a sign. Signal. My head is underwater. Oh, I could have got some tomato soup. Tomato soup. You want some tomato soup? You want some tomato soup? <laughs> Chat wants some tomatoes. Three days, eight hours watching, Chris. Oh, we're, we're here. We have arrived. Yeah, they're full now, so. I need to get these refineries moving. Actually, I could start working on these first. Let's work on these first before bringing the other oil. Alright, let me just get this paid for. I've got a tuna sandwich and I got some a sausage roll as well. I got a sausage roll. We'll see what they're like from uh, greenhouse. She's where I get it from. Because Greg's don't deliver here. So sad. Um, okay, there we go. Uh, four hundred dollars we train uh, back to back. Yeah, it, it, it'll be fine. Once this oil gets moving, it'll be fine. <sighs> this oil stationery right now sitting there. That's gonna be going into refineries at six hundred per minute. So. Uh, what we need to look at now is how we're going to work it up here. It's how we're going to work it up here. So we're going to need three lines, three refinery lines. And what do we want to do? Obviously, this is way too small for what we need to do. So we're going to need get some mortars. So I'm going to need at least what? 60? 60 refineries at least. Minimum. Do -do. Ooh, 
Oh, my coffee today. Oh, I need some encased industrial beams. Do I need some copy sheets as well? I do. Okay. Uh, afternoon bits. Would you mind me giving a shout out uh, to Roger? Uh, uh, positive. Uh, would you mind me giving a shout out? Uh, why? Why? Roger, you okay? Um, how's the building going today? Building's going all right. Building is going all right, Ben. How's you? How's you? How's you? Um, but, um, but, um. All right, see y'all. Grab some. Case industrial beams. Pipes. Copper sheets. I don't have copper sheets coming here, do I? No. I do have pipes though. Got some copper sheets. Uh, I was going to have officially been signed off work for though, so to get a bit more time on my hands for a while. Just going to chill out for a little bit. Uh, have I got copper sheets being stored here? I do in this one. Two. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, the No Man's Sky expedition is live. Ooh. Church, we're going to do some Norman Sky Expedition. I am down. Um, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, we'll do that then. We'll do that. Let's do that. Uh, day 20 today, isn't it? Day 20. Day 20. 